The Mara River Basin covers a transboundary area of about 13,500 kilometers across Kenya and Tanzania. The Mara River runs 395 kilometers from its source in Mao Forest to the point where it drains into Lake Victoria. It runs through the Masai Mara Game Reserve and Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. The two areas are of global conservation significance and great economic importance to the local communities. My name is Joseph Konets. I was born uh, 57 years ago in Kaporusa of Baumet district. A keen conservationist, Joseph has for the last three decades noticed changes in his environment, a phenomenon totally alien to the locals, climate change. When I was young, um, we used to have regular rains, especially in the months of April, April and November. But during this time, it's difficult because it rains any time of the year. As the habitats have kept changing, the flora and fauna have been forced to change with the times or face imminent extinction. For agro practices of the local communities, this has amounted to the guessing game as the climate patterns have become unpredictable. The last 20 years is when, uh, when, when we saw these changes, especially myself, because uh, we are no longer planting in the months that we used to plant. Like this year, the rains came in, in January, February, and it was too late for the farmers to grow. So when they, when they started growing, then the crops, now the area is waterlogged, and, and, and I don't think they are going to have any, any harvest at all. Predictable rainfall pattern and amount are key factors for the improvement of the locals' livelihoods. The food production around here has gone down because, because people are not aware of when to plant and even if they plant it, they might not get rain during that time. Over the years now, we have started receiving uh, food donation and we've never received ever before. We used to hear that uh, donation was being given to other areas. Effects of global climate change are being experienced locally and the Mara River Basin, as well as its environs, has not been spared either. Serious threats include spells of drought, changes in rainfall patterns, altered seasons, violent storms and flash floods. The last two years we experienced uh, a dry spell and during this, since I was born here, and we are talking about over 50 years ago, We've never experienced such a drought because the main river, which you can see down this, which is a dispute of the Mara River, dried up for the first time since I was born. It just never dried. Last year, we had heavy rains. In the months that we used not, never to have any rains. And during that time, we experienced uh, a lot of destruction that was never seen before. And the crops were completely destroyed. In addition to the unpredictable weather patterns, climate change has played host to a number of other alien challenges to the communities around. 20 years ago, around, let's say, in, in the 80s, uh, January, February used to be warmer. But now, with the change of rains uh, or climate, uh, we are now experiencing cold January, February or so because of the change in the, you know, in the rain patterns. The climate change has also made it conducive for the emergence and proliferation of diseases in the area. When I was young, we never knew anything about malaria, actually. Uh, uh, it was very rare for people to, to catch malaria. But um, we don't know how the, how the mosquitoes developed around here, this area because it never used to be. I think it must, have been, it, it must be warmer for them now. The way forward to this increasing temperature trend is simply to cut down the emission, especially by the industrialized countries. The other solution is to plant as many trees as possible. So if we clear down the forest, it means that carbon dioxide which is released will just accumulate in air, and when it accumulates, it actually leads to increase in temperature. We can limit the damages from climate change if we act now.